really have a thoughtful group and we're talking about very important things related to becoming an artist, creating the message. Um, we get to introduce ourselves and they get to introduce themselves and just it's the buzz of excitement of just who we are and the amazing talent we have and the variety of talent we have. It's always an exciting week. It's going to be exciting. We, we're going next level definitely this year in so many ways. Sister City is the cheapest way of government to create economic development. And Jersey City is an economic geography, geographically uh, position that we are 10 minutes from a cruise line in Bayonne, 10 minutes from Midtown Manhattan, and we have the most multicultural ethnic community in the United States and a cheaper rate than New York City, but with better flavor than New York City because we have a more family-oriented community. My daughter went to Brazil to learn Portuguese. So today she speaks English, Spanish, and Portuguese. And why does that matter? It matters because she studied there, she made friends, I met her friends, and now in two weeks I'm going to Brazil that speaks Portuguese for about a month. I made friends with friends that she made and I made friends of my own. So when I go there, I'm not going to a foreign country. I'm going to another country. And that's kind of the difference. You feel more welcomed because it's not foreign. It's almost sister-like. And that's the basis of sister cities. I feel like everybody is going to do a great job at the world. They're thinking about size and proportion. They're thinking a lot about their sister cities and just connecting with the different cities on the wall as well. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be a great wall. So, yes, we have 22 sister cities, 19 countries, 11 teams working here and um, to just celebrate the culture and the vibrancy of these communities. And I see the students are Students, emerging artists, they're like hitting the three C's of collaboration, creativity, communication, and, and I'm going to throw a fourth C of caliber because every single group is hitting it on a, a, on a level which, I don't know, we'll see if Jersey City is ready for it. We're, we're ahead of the game. Um, which is rare. I mean, a lot of times we start with, like, you know this, the preliminary drawings, and then we have to kind of push and push to get more detail, more color, and really get them to think broad, more broadly in terms of the wall. But their first drawings, like, they hit the ground running, and, like, we're ahead of the game. They're already thinking about how to connect things and how to get things to flow, and so I'm really inspired by everything I'm seeing right now. So Everything we do here, there's a direct life application. Yeah. Everything that we'll design, the way we'll put the pressure, the pressure starts mounting a little bit every day, but it's subtle, it's progressive. But the reality is we have a starting day and we have an ending day. So, you know, you guys have been, you know, working very closely on your huge mural, but JC Map outside of the youth program is a huge and prolific program. We have created over 200 murals in the city of Jersey City. Part of what we want to talk to you guys about here is not just creativity and research and execution, but also the administration of art, the economics of art. I want you guys to think about that as we walk through, as well as just to be visually stimulated 
and um, you know, inspired by all the art that we have here. And also, as you're looking at these pieces, think about technique. How did they do that? Not every artist used the same medium, not every artist used the same process, and not every artist completed it in the same amount of time. On these walls, you're gonna see much more street art, graffiti, which is really the history of murals. It's, it's what really birthed murals. This, you did a wonderful job getting it to where we needed to tonight. I hope you all feel so excited because there's just so many amazing things happening in here and it's gonna get even more amazing on the wall. Yeah, it's all about the wall and adaptation of the drawing. So we're making a call today, trusting that you're taking home and finishing coloring that for us. We're making an extra step for this group. So we're saying take home, get this thing ready, Wednesday, we're hitting the wall. You guys deserve an applause, come on. Oh yeah, like I've been enjoying my time here. Like I'm someone who doesn't really paint like traditionally, so like this experience has been, allowed me to practice those skills that have become kind of rusty. I'm experimenting a lot with color, which has been super fun, and I'm learning a lot as I go. I realize that like spray painting is very fun because like it's a very different media and it's very like it's similar to paint. I mean, it's spray painting, but at the same time it dries very quickly, so like it's kind of like digital art in a sense where it's like you can easily remove and you can easily add on. So I really like that element about it. A great experience to work with different artists to get a, a sense of how they work and a few of them have been in the program longer than I have. So just to see how well and fast that they can work on the wall, it's just amazing to me. Overall, working with other people during the mural, it definitely helped in the process, especially when we were mapping it out on the wall and I'm spray painting it. I'm very like much more confident when being on the wall. I used to be very nervous with working on the wall, but now it just comes naturally. I can just make anything on the wall and make it come to life. Spray painting, it's, it's actually really good. Like I can do whatever. I can mess up like a thousand times and still I can, you know, get my lines correct. And this is the first, this is the first time that I'm spray painting like a big mural project. So it's just really fun and you know, I get to get be passionate in something that I'm uh, interested in. This is like my third time in the program. So I guess I can say like, when it comes to spray paint, you just get better and better. Um, and so I've been using like different techniques and like getting different shading and highlights. So it's been fun most of all. Spray paint has been like a trial and error, error thing because 
you do something, you mess up, and then you can just cover it up and fix it. And no matter how many times you mess up, you can just cover it up and fix it, and it's kind of efficient. Yeah, I usually don't scale up when I draw. I draw very small, so this was a good experiment, and now I know how to scale up on my drawings for later. It thinks we got a like more still plan on thinking about how to shade, bring more life and texture to the sort of through stone buildings and the grass. So first we have to finish on laying down the base colors. And luckily enough today, I think I managed to find like a middle base color for the stones. I've worked with this program before and the last time the wall wasn't completely flat and that was one thing I noted. Coming to this wall, it was sort of a rocky texture, but you learn how to adapt and sort of move the spray paint around so you can still get your picture done. Personally, this is my second year of the program, so I'm a little more used to working with spray paint um, and working from a small sketch to a big sketch, but it's definitely a very thought out process. It really shows, it really shows, you know, what art really is. You really have to work with others collaboratively. And I have to say that going from a small sketch on paper to something with spray paint on a wall has been a bit difficult. Like first time used to spray paint was really difficult, especially with trying to figure out proportions and everything like that. But uh, the more that I've done, I feel the easier it's gotten. I'm not used to having to, you know, step back a long distance or a large distance uh, to, you know, periodically check on the overall um, drawing, like collectively. I started the program along with everybody else back in 2014 when it, when it first started. So that was my first experience actually getting on a wall, having to go step back um, and take a look at the bigger picture. You start off thinking, how is this going to connect? And in the middle of it, you just go, oh, that's, that's crazy. Like, it just came together. It's some, some things just happen on the wall. It's like miracles really do happen. It is kind of interesting that we are like assistants this year because we are going around and we're helping like we're helping out with everyone else's piece and actually like kind of putting in our input and then give them giving us back their input. It helps like unify everything because like there's a, like we're kind of seeing everything from far away so like mm -hmm. help them not like get too focused on their piece. Yeah. Like how to transition and stuff. The thing I like is, I you know, we have like 19 countries, 22 cities, then we're really being able to like connect and in a way then it looks like everything is everything, right? That's my favorite part right now, because in the classroom we had all the individual drawings and we really knew, you know, we could tweak each individual drawing so it was how we wanted. And then as we worked, we didn't know exactly how they would flow and now we're kind of getting their environments to connect and to sort of look like they're all one place flowing in and out of each other, it's exciting to see. It's it's a that's fun part. It's really rewarding to watch them figure that out. I think that the program um, is very important for the city because when you start young in arts, it changes you. We've been trying to get involved with the Jersey City Summer Youth Mural Arts Program for for quite some time, and so it's great to, to partner with the team and. Um, I mean, as you can see on the mural, it's, it, it's great work at the end of the day. 22 sister cities are connected to the different neighborhoods here in Jersey City, uh, and they represent both a conversation with the world and with Jersey City neighborhoods. So these kids did a fabulous job. They've used this huge wall behind us to highlight Jersey City sister city relationships all over the world. And, um, you know, many people know that we're the most diverse city in the country, but they don't realize that we have sister city relationships literally all over the world. So this serves as a good education opportunity for these kids, for uh, people that pass by this, but also for uh, all of Jersey City residents and the broader region about the importance and significance of Jersey City with global reach. This public arts program has been a tremendous success. Uh, we're really cultivating the next generation of artists and leaders uh, in the Jersey City community and beyond. So uh, it's been a huge success. We're very proud of it. And uh, it's uh, unequivocally the best in the state of New Jersey.